Plugin of the week is the Brainworks BX Clean Sweep Pro. So this is uh, yet another update uh, to the uh, BX Clean Sweep plugin. Now, this is a very simple plugin. It's just a high pass and a low pass filter. And the fundamental idea of this, which I 100% agree with and is a part of all of my mix work, is that as I'm working through tracks, um, the, one of the first things I'll do is I'll go through with high pass and low pass filters, and I will remove frequencies that are either unnecessary or not adding anything to the quality of the instrument. Uh, a lot of those things are like rumble, air conditioning noise in large diaphragm microphones, particularly tube mics, uh, from vocal recordings, things of that nature, maybe high-end hiss, uh, um, you know, from uh, guitar amp, etc. those types of things. And in terms of the functionality and the way that it's used, it's really powerful. Uh, so if you open up the plugin, uh, some of the new features are that there are additional um, filter types that you can kind of bring in. So what you have is an extended frequency range. So you have your high pass filter, you have a low pass filter. Uh, you can use the joystick control to kind of play with um, uh, those elements, or you can uh, set this to be a matrix and you can kind of work with it from uh, that perspective if you kind of want to work with it this way. But essentially the idea is that it's meant to be a, um, a low phase distortion, uh, anti-crush technology kind of thing. It's meant to be clean and kind of pure, but now you can do some more interesting things. So we have the high pass and the low pass filter on. I want to start with the low pass filter here and I'm going to kind of sweep some things up just to kind of show you. So normally what you have is a Butterworth filter and, uh, and then you have different orders to the filter. So second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth order. And all that's doing is it's adding 6 dB. So in other words, that's 36 dB per octave. And as you go down through each step, it's um, two times six is 12. So that would be 12 dB per octave. And then you could kind of hear that filtering. Now, so that's kind of normal. There's an additional knob over here, but now we have additional filter types. Uh, so this is a Bessel filter type. And now as we kind of go through some of the filter orders, um, you know, we'll, we'll also get um, a, a different kind of sonic characteristic than we'll get with the Butterworth filter. And then in addition to that, now we also have um, some additional, and I'm going to butcher the name here, Cheb Shev, <laughs> Cheb okay, so I butchered that, uh, number one. And here I have a bunch of different orders that now allows me to create some rippling in here, and I can increase or decrease that rippling uh, with the ripple control here at the top. So now this, you notice that it was grayed out for some of the filter types, but it allows some adjustment, right? That allows it to kind of be full frequency. And depending upon the order that you kind of select, you can create some unusual characteristics here. Nice little... Uh... And, and create some unusual different resonances. And there's a, another a number two on that, which also allows you to create some uh, unique resonant shapes. So some of them will not be as active. This is like a really nice tight filter. that you can, you can kind of use for, for cleaning up low end. Uh, there's an elliptical EQ. This kind of creates some really crazy shapes, which can create some sub-frequency uh, uh, resonances. So I'll bring it up so you can kind of hear some of those resonances. And, and this creates some really cool kind of artifacts and effects. And this is where you can start to get really creative uh, with some of this. And then there's also a resonant uh, Butterworth filter. So this allows you to add like a little resonant boost, kind of a little bit more of a typical kind of thing. 
and then the order of the noise filter will kind of help to shape that and that can kind of help you to kind of focus the low end of something um, which is really cool so these additional features in terms of working with this it now turns this into a much more creative tool if you start playing with some of the new resonant types playing with the order and kind of filters you get some very unique type of filters also you have some additional supply uh, displays excuse me so you get the phase correlation so this is showing you any phase discrepancy that's occurring uh, plus minus um, in phase out of phase I guess essentially and uh, there is um, a delay it's showing you the group delay a spectrum analyzer so you can see a full spectrum analyzer of the audio signal as you're applying you know uh, the filter so you get to see that uh, or none if you just want to have no display at all so um, this kind of gives you um, you know some nice new features and some displays it gives you a way to kind of expand the features of a very simple but very powerful plugin and now it becomes a much more creative tool uh, and then of course you could take the joystick automate it and kind of have some fun wor working around and kind of sweeping through some different things so very cool one uh, and another update uh, from the Brainworks uh, Plugin Alliance collection of the BX Clean Sweep Pro.